I think it respects very much the grid of the street. It respects very much the heritage of wood, which is sort of the backbone of Finland. It has an intimate relationship with the sea, which is the other side of the Finnish nature. And finally, this tower offers a kind of frame for Senate Square. And I think people can look onto this great 19th century and 20th century city with a new appreciation. In the end, the winner was uh, this scheme out in the city of Moreau, uh, Kusunoki Architects. Well, if you look at the image the, uh, of the project, it's not clear if it's coming out from the park and the woods or it is coming in from the water. So it's, it's as if it already was here. And I think that's super interesting to make a project that looks like it belongs in Finland and yet is also new. Helsinki is, a, is the daughter of the Baltic, as, as we say. So Helsinki is a harbour city and this is the heart and the symbolic heart of, uh, of uh, the city. It's extremely unfair because the city would be paying everything, not only the construction of the building, but of course giving three this very precious site and paying for all the costs, for the personnel costs and maintaining the building, which would be minimum 7 million euro annually to the city budget at the time when we are cutting from, from everything else. Uh, the Guggenheim concept is expensive for Finland, that, that's what I think. And maybe people don't trust that uh, the benefits will cover that cost. So um, they are skeptical towards that. And the art museum isn't maybe the first thing that people think that should be invested in, because the times are bad, <laughs> as, as everywhere. In that case, we imagine a situation with an uh, option to imagine to integrate within the museum the fairy temple. So that's uh, from the market. That's the main plaza of the entrance. Yeah, olen hyvin innolla seurannut tätä prosessia. But it also we think it's a traditional material and a familiar material for Finland people. The core concept is openness and transparency. And a human scale. It's also about how to connect the city and the museum itself. That's why we call it like art in the city. Thank you. I think this is a great, great honor and a great opportunity for Helsinki to get this Guggenheim uh, Museum here. I hope they will go forward. Of course, it's a strong uh, brand in terms of culture. 
but Finland is also very strong to create brands by its own. I mean, uh, by spending so much amount of money, I mean, you can create your own brand of culture. I mean, so you should think about it.